wanted to show you uh, what I do after spending uh, a clicker session with my students about using the right hand rule to figure out the direction of angular momentum. And so they've been exposed to it. They've been asked a uh, half dozen different uh, situations, which way to figure it out using their right hand. Uh, and usually students like, well, why does this matter? What can we do with this? Why is this important? So I, I like to tell them you can actually predict the outcome of a complex uh, interaction using the right hand rule and conservation of angular momentum. And so I have this bicycle wheel, it's got uh, lead weights around the side, so it's got a lot of rotational inertia. And I'll spin it like this and I'll ask them what's the direction of the angular momentum and the way I show them the right hand rule, or at least the way we, we practice it, is you curl your fingers in the direction of the rotation and your thumb points in the direction of the angular momentum, and so that would be up. So I tell them the wheel and me and the chair are a system, and if I pick up my feet, the system is fairly isolated from the surroundings, so the angular momentum should be conserved. So if I flip the wheel upside down while I'm holding my feet up, then even though the magnitude of the angular momentum would be the same, the direction would be different. And so angular momentum is a vector, it has to be conserved. So the direction can't change. So what will happen to me if I flip the wheel upside down? Well, the angular momentum can't change, it has to stay up. And so if the wheel all of a sudden has a downward angular momentum, the chair and myself need to have an upward angular momentum. And then they see that happen. And so not only do I spin, but they can predict the direction I'm gonna spin. Now the angular momentum of the system is down. I put my feet on the ground, so it wasn't isolated. So if I pick my feet up and I turn it the other way, turn it upside down, now I'm gonna spin the other way and I have angular momentum that's down. And so that's usually an astounding experience for them. Uh, they're able to predict what's gonna happen using uh, their angular momentum direction finding tool.